Hello once again, YouTube. Duke Nukem2417 here with part two of DN2417 Plays Duke Nukem. Now, those with a discerning eye will notice that my health and score are higher than they were in the previous video. I had to start over again from the beginning. Long story. To simplify the explanation, AVI Demox decided that it wanted to be stupid because of a very, very slight delay between the save game room and the start of the level. I don't know why it does that, it's something about frames per second, and maybe interpolation, I don't know. Whatever the case, I had to start from scratch. So I played through the first four levels all over again. Managed to get here with full health, and a higher score, so here we all are. Anyway, in the previous video in the series, I mentioned two of the three voice roles that I did for the AMCTC. I never mentioned the third. I'm gonna rectify that now. Rusty Nails, who was an original member of the project from its origins, if you will, all the way into its current stage. Problem is, Rusty hasn't been, the actual Rusty, hasn't been in contact with the rest of the group for over a decade! And also, he's from Sweden, like the band Ghost, who are awesome. Uh, remember, if you have Ghost, you have everything. Anyway, <laughs> they actually did a cover of that song on an album called If You Have Ghost. But this is not about Ghost, this is about, well, this discussion right now that I'm doing is about Rusty Nails. He's from Sweden, like the band Ghost, that's where I lost my train of thought, which I'm getting back on track right now. Uh, Rusty has not been in contact with the rest of the group for a decade, and as such, they needed someone to redo all of his old dialogue and record new lines. James Stanfield asked me if I would be willing to do the honors, and I said, of course I would! I'd love to! And the rest is history. Well, of course, Rusty, the original Rusty being from Sweden, had a distinctive accent, and I couldn't quite reproduce that accent without sounding really, really dumb. So I decided that since Rusty Nails, the character, is a gunslinger, and most gunslingers in popular fiction are from the American South or the American West, I figured, why not go in that direction? You know, he's dual-wielding revolvers, and occasionally carrying a sword, which is just an incredible combination, if you ask me. Uh, he's dual-wielding revolvers. He's inspired by Caleb from the game Blood. You know, southern accent makes sense. Texas accent makes sense. You know, so that's how I went with it. That's how I did the character, with a southern slash Texan accent. I didn't try to- I didn't not do the original Swedish accent just because I felt like, you know, this is my version of the character, I can do whatever I want. No. <laughs> I don't talk like that in everyday conversation, of course. Um, I didn't not do the Swedish accent because I didn't feel like it, I didn't do it because I couldn't do it well. And I didn't want to piss off everyone who was fans of the character. So, there's a- there's a- there's a fine line there, between... I don't know what I was going for with that, but I for I lost my train of thought again, so I'm just gonna shut up. Anyway, I voiced Rusty Nails in the AMCTC, and I have voiced him ever since the most recent update. Okay, that's the shortcut. This is the shortcut. It was mentioned in the note from the save. I think this is how you get to the U from Nukem. But now I have... Yeah, there's the U. Now I'm only gonna have four units of health left, though. Oh, this is gonna suck. Now three units of health. Great. Now two! Now! <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Um, I was gonna do a thing where I went through the entire level. But that- and now I'm in a negative health. And I can't go get that, uh, nuclear health. I just shot a coke can. Okay, now I can get the nuclear health without fear of instantly getting healed. So there's that. Now this will prevent me from- God dang it. This will prevent me from getting the full lettering for the word Nukem, or Duke. 
Nukem is in Duke Nukem 2. You spell his last name in Duke Nukem 2. Not this one. But, yeah. Because there's the E. I'm not going to get the E because I would just spell do. Do what? Do date for a library book? Due diligence? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> you can only shoot those flame things when the flames are out. Hmm, I see you've survived my maze of madness. I might have underestimated you. I hope AVI Demux uh, doesn't screw up on that bit. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go through the entire level of the Maze of Madness, but I just didn't feel like it. What? I didn't use the blue key down there. I did a dumb. <laughs> I did a dumb. Anyway, uh, let's go rectify that. I could go all the way back down and get the K. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. This level has been enough of a hassle as it is. And I'm gonna skip the, uh, save rooms from now on. Dang it! Okay. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to... If I do use the save room footage, I'm gonna have to pause beforehand. Uh, whatever. Okay, save room. You're doing quite well so far. Let's see if you can keep it up. Also, remember to save! Just did. And this is the level that used to screw up back when I originally played the shareware version. Because there was a file missing from the folder that had a bunch of art assets that were necessary for this level. I don't know why there was a file missing from the shareware version. But it was. And as such, that version of this level... I don't know if you could have beaten it... Because the 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 pathways through the level and the, the detection and stuff was... You know, like, you started off near this area. Like, you started off in a wall. Up here. And you just emerged from the wall and then fell down to go get all the letters of Duke. And then the rest of the level was just incoherent. It didn't make any sense. So, there's that. Oh, I apologize for that flashing whatever in the background. Uh, whoop. Oh, dang it. Landed right on the stupid bouncing thing. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this was the level that screwed up all the time back then. Although, the shareware version we had, somebody had actually gotten to the final level and saved their game there. Like, right before that level. Dang it! Suck. Anyway, uh, they saved their game right before that final level. Stop. But yeah, that share- I don't know where that shareware version came from. <laughs> I mean, my uncle had it. I don't know who he got it from, but, uh... Clearly, they were not well-versed in the ways of maintaining shareware. Um... <sighs> Otherwise, they would not have given him a version of Duke Nukem 1 shareware episode that was missing critical files. So there's that. But anyway. Hey, drop down, grab that and then fall back down to avoid the stupid dynamite. Go up on the lift. Although I'm an American, so I pretty much have to call it an elevator. Uh... Okay, cool. Friggin' nuclear health thing. Oh, this part. If you have the, if you would have had the grappling hook by this point, you get a grappling hook later on. Uh. Oh, yeah. You need the robo hand, and don't try to use that without the robo hand, because otherwise you'll just get repeatedly shot at. <laughs> it's like an anti-tamper measure or something. 
Like if you try to use it with just your bare hand. <laughs> it starts firing out blasts in all directions. Dang it. Ah. Okay. And go back up. Don't go all the way up. There we go. Another proton monitor there. Duke, in spite of your persistence, my plan to rule Earth will not be stopped. <laughs> it would have been so awesome if they would have been able to have voice acting in this game originally. They'll do a re-release with voice acting. I'd be happy to volunteer. <laughs> anyway, uh, dang it, stupid hovering thing and stupid wall climbing thing. Nope, you suck. Okay, there we go. So, there's that. And then there's that. Excellent. That's how you get the green key. Everyone who's been watching from the beginning of this part is probably like, where's the green key? Now you know. So there's that. I need to stop saying so there's that. <laughs> I need to stop saying so there's that. It's starting to annoy even me. Anyway, uh, grab the football. Go up here. That Acme sign never fell. I am somewhat astounded. And drop down. And that'll probably be it for this video. Yeah. Find the grappling hooks to beat the next level. Use them to grab onto special graded ceilings. Awesome. Well, that's going to be it for part two of DN2417 Plays Duke Nukem. Thank you all so very much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And, and I am going to alternate between Duke Nukem 1 and Duke Nukem 2 for uploads. The Duke Nukem 2 video, the first of that series, should be up by the time I've finished recording this. Anyway... As always, stay tuned for more. Hail to the king, baby.